Hello you guys, how are you? So today we're talking about all things fake tan and it's that time of year where you want to look a bit more sun-kissed than normal and I do too. So listen up to this video, I'm going to give you a few different tips of how to achieve the look, what to do to make the tan last longer and I'm going to show you some products that I personally use myself that you might find interesting. So before we go on, my name is Joni, welcome to my channel Joni Loves Please, before we go and hit that subscribe button and that bell, that would be so cool. So number one, how does fake tan work? So these sunless lotions and potions and mousses that are out there contain the main ingredient, dehydroxyacetone, DHA for short. And dehydroxyacetone reacts with the outermost layer of your skin and it basically darkens, temporarily darkens the dead skin cells to simulate a tan. And typically that tan will last for a few days and it'll start to fade off and come off just as your dead skin cells flake off, right? So does fake tan protect you from sunburn? No. So if you're all sun tanned up with your fake tan, okay, you're all faked up and you go outside to sunbathe, you must, must apply your sunscreen. You've got to apply your sunscreen and apply it every two hours, especially if you're outside and making sure you put it onto all areas of your body, especially if you're sunbathing just now, right? So what's the best way to apply a fake tan? I think the secret, the biggest secret is to exfoliate first. I'm sure that's the biggest secret I can give you. And I quite like these friction mitts. You get these in any drugstore and they're quite rough, okay? And what to do is go into the shower, soak this up, and then make sure that you go over the whole body, making sure you exfoliate, okay? You don't need to do it rough. These things are quite rough. So you can still do it quite gently, but making sure that you pay particular attention to the areas that really hold on to dead skin and that's your hands, your elbows, your knees and your feet and in between your toes, ankles, making sure you do go around them really well with this because there is nothing worse if you apply fake tan all over and you haven't done this step and the hands and the feet it looks as if they're really, really dark and you've got the sun-kissed look everywhere else. A good way to tell that it's a fake tan being applied. So let's try and keep it natural and get this exfoliating mitt to work, right? Next step, you have to moisturise. Pat yourself dry and you have to moisturise those areas that we just talked about. So moisturise your feet in between the toes, round the ankles, your knees, elbows and your hands moisturize those areas before you apply the fake tan and make sure that moisturizer is really dried in okay so give it a good five minutes to dry in apply moisturizer liberally liberally to these areas okay so once you've done that apply it in sections think of sectioning off so do the legs first then the feet next then the torso next and the arms but section the body off and one section is the legs, the second section is the feet. And every time you apply your fake tan, do it in circular movement, uh, movements. Now, you can do it just with your hands if you want. You can apply it just with your hands or you can actually get, this is not a, this is not the proper one, but you can get fake tan mitts, little velvet mitts, and you can apply the fake tan onto that and apply it with the mitt. Okay, whatever suits you, you have to decide when, once you've done it, what you like doing. And some people just like putting on, you know, disposable gloves and applying the fake tan that way. I actually use my hands to do it, okay? No gloves, nothing. I use my hands and I apply it that way. But if you do it, what you've got to make sure is when you apply it, say you apply it to your legs, you've done all of your legs, wash your hands after each section. Make sure you wash your hands really well so that you don't get all the fake tan going into these areas here, right? So apply it all over each section. Don't forget to wipe your eyebrows after it. So you've applied it all over. You've got it on your face. You've washed your hands, okay? When you do your feet and do your hands, I just literally extend it. So if I'm doing my arms, I usually leave my hands to the very last. I'm really just pulling down, 
from my wrist, pulling it and extending the fake tan onto the hand area. And the same with my ankles onto my feet. I'm just extending it lightly. I don't want these areas, the hands and the feet, to look thick with fake tan. No, 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 I don't want that look. So you've applied it. And then next, I want you to wipe over your eyebrows. Don't forget this, get cotton buds and damp your cotton buds with water. And then make sure you go over your eyebrows Okay, there's nothing worse than a fake tan eyebrow <laughs> and it does fake tan the eyebrows. So get the cotton buds and go over the eyebrows. Okay, what I also like is whiten over your fingernails, especially if you've got gel nails on or, you know, around this area. So this is what I brought this out for, to lightly dampen this and go over and get the fake tan off the nails and off the tootsies, off the nails on your, your toenails. <laughs> So using that next. So wait at least 15 minutes. Now people will say, oh, I'm fine after 10 minutes. I feel dry. Don't do that. Wait for 15 minutes till it's completely dried and then put on a loose outfit. I wear a, an All Saints old t-shirt dress and I put that on in top. Okay. And it's khaki coloured. So it's, it's fine. But a dark coloured loose dress or loose clothing because you don't want to feel sweaty or anything like that. You don't want to affect the fake tan that you've applied. And I hate to say this, but it is a great idea, girls, if you can keep the brow off, if you can. <gasps> if you can, if you can. So, should I have my waxing done on the same day? No. <laughs> Hair removal should be done the day before. Okay, I've heard people saying that they shave on the same day, then they have that, that fake tan, they do it at night. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't like anything to affect your hair follicles at all. So please be on the safe side. Do your waxing and hair removal the day before you do your fake tanning, for sure, right? How do you keep your fake tan looking good and not patchy? So this is another thing. The worst thing about fake tan, and they're all bad for this, um, they all come off and it can look patchy and it starts to look like you had fake tan on, right? So we don't want it. We want to try and make it come off evenly. So the crucial thing is here, before you go into your shower, moisturise baby oil all over, okay? Quickly, okay, you don't need to take your, you know, take your time, but quickly apply the body oil. Johnson's baby oil is one I use, but it can be any baby oil and apply that all over and then go into the shower and then have your shower. As soon as you come out, pat yourself lightly dry and then quickly put on moisturiser all over. That seals in the damp water as well, keeps the skin hydrated. But moisturising is the key to keeping your fake tan looking good. It is, it is. Now I'm going to show you what products I like to use and you can have a look at these. This is Dr Organic. I like his body butters. This one I'm using just now is the Shea Butter, but I do like the Coconut Butter probably because I like the cocoa butter, the smell of it. But this is a shea butter, but I like Dr. Organic lotions and they're quite reasonably priced. I'll put the link down below for all of these things. So that's the, the body moisturiser. Next, I'm going to use show you what I've, I've actually got it on today. I don't know if you can see that I look a little bit golden today or sun-kissed even. This is Palmer's and I do I like this for a number of reasons, but it contains vitamin E, it's a gradual tanner, so you put it on. I like to use this every second day to build the colour up, so it's a gradual tanner. It looks natural to me. What do you think? What do you think? I do like this. I don't apply this on my face, however. I'm going to tell you that I am not good with applying fake tans on my face because my open pores suck up and they look like blackheads. It looks as if I've got blackheads with the reaction with the dehydroxyacetone because it really does colour the sebum in my pores and just, oh, I don't like the look. It gives me blackheads. So I don't put it on my face, okay? But this is great. I've got it on my body and that's Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Again, I quite like the cocoa butter smell. What's next? I'm going to show you this and you can see this. I've really, really love this product. Okay, it's Terracotta by Guerlain. I always think that Guerlain has got the the thing about fake tanning and bronzers in their whole range. I think they are the main, I would say, cosmetic range to look at for using bronzers, okay? I know it's been out a long time, Guerlain, but I think they're really experts at it. This is their cooling leg spray. 
and you can spray this onto your legs and it gives it and then massage it and it gives it a nice cooling feel but it gives your, your legs a little bit more darker color and um, so have a look at these okay next i do like this i was given this by a friend who works for house of color but i really like this this is a face and body illuminator and these things are great and there's lots of things like this on the market i do like this one by house of color and you can put it on your bones up here to make it look good it's like a highlighter what i do like doing with this right i'm just letting you know that i do mix this with my tinted moisturizer spf i do mix it when i go out in the evening and really make sure you just look as if you're glowing and really sun kissed it's a lovely look so house of color liquid illuminator for face and body i like these are really good but just applying them to the bone and highlighted areas can be really really cool and finally, this is something I started using this year. Okay, you tan, and this is the coconut tanning water for the face. I'm always interested in products for the face because I don't want to get those blackheads, those pesky blackheads, where, with a, and I get that from normal face tanners I do. This is a spray. I'm going to show you how you do it. So you always shake, don't you, first? And then literally... You just spray it on and leave it on and I quite like this because it gives you a nice glow it works to give you a gradual glow and it's lovely and I've got to tell you again it's coconut tanning water I definitely get a thing for coconuts and it really is lovely so I would give you a link to that down below and have a look at that it's lovely and it's quite nice because it's just a spray and it goes on easily I've also tried it on my legs too but I do like it for the face it does not block my skin up doesn't block my skin up so there you go now is there anything that you use that you want to tell the rest of us all about that you think is a great product please do that you know i personally as you can see with what i use i like a natural color right and everybody's got different choices here to make but if there's a if there's a fake tan product that you like let us know in the comments below i also have to say to you i do like a spray tan if i'm going out for the evening somewhere special whenever we can do that in scotland again i really do like getting a spray tan and i, I quite like having a mobile therapist doing it or i'll go to a spa or a salon and i'll get a spray tan and i do like that what i do like to do though is i do like to have these spray tans earlier in the day when i do i do not like fake tan all over my bed sheets nothing is worse for me than that nothing is worse i know you get these um sleeping bags which i think are a really cool idea you get a sleeping bag but especially if you've had your spray tan at night and you can go to the sleeping bag or you've applied your fake tan and you can go in that sleeping bag but i couldn't do that then go into my, my bed i couldn't do that i couldn't do that so i like to be able to have a spray tan early in the day that maybe develops over four to six hours and have a shower a shower to shower off the excess before I go into bed at night <laughs> so what tips have you got let me know and what products do you like I hope you have a great week and good luck in your fake tanning bye girls and guys bye